fixed up. What's up guys, today is Friday. Uh, February 19th 2021 my days are all kinds of mixed up because um, pretty much been working you know remotely virtual um, all week uh, Monday we didn't have camps you know classes at all campus shut down and then same thing you know today just completely shut down not even doing virtual work today but uh, what the deal is is we are taking Bodie out to his grandma and cow paws real quick um, they're gonna watch him for a little bit while Samantha and I run up to Norman we're not just running up to Norman for a uh, you know a fun little shopping trip or anything like that we 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 really need to go because she has you have an appointment right she has a baby um, appointment and um, definitely gonna be the last one before uh, before the baby's here um, unless something happens and he decides to come today Saturday Sunday or Monday he will be here for sure on Tuesday because they're going to induce if he doesn't come by then. So this um, is in fact going to be the last vlog that us Youngs make here as a family of Trace. We're gonna get Bodie to, um, to his grandparents. We are getting close to Samantha's appointment. That hospital, that's a hospital right there. That's where is going to be born. What? I bleeped it out in editing, no worries. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting close to uh, the place of the appointment, which is not this hospital. Um, that's where Bodie was born, and again, that's where will be born. And um, I can't go in with you to this appointment? I don't know, I'm gonna ask. I don't think I can um, because of COVID. Last time I was able to go in because... Um, if you have an ultrasound, they will allow you to have somebody with you to kind of see the baby too. But I guess if you don't have an ultrasound, then you can't have anybody with you. But I'm gonna ask. Get my thumbs warmed up. I'll be sitting out here doing some thumb twiddling. Okay, well, it is five till 11. Um, I'm sitting out here waiting to hear whether or not I can, uh, you know, go inside or not, but I'm 90% sure the answer to that is no. Oh, here's the moment of truth. I'm just worried he's going to be ripping pacifiers out of the baby's mouth and shoving, trying to shove food down the baby's mouth. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to help. Bodie's not going to want to share anything. So it went pretty good for the last appointment. Um, if he doesn't come on his own, 
between now, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Um, I will be induced Tuesday morning. The 23rd um, of February. 23rd. He does think that it will be quicker than last time, which last time wasn't that bad for a first induction. It was 12 hours of labor, but it was, it could have been shorter had, had he, had I not pushed for two and a half hours, could have been quicker. But anyway, um, so I'll go in and be induced Tuesday morning if he doesn't come before then. Um, I guess I'm going to have to get a COVID test today. I did call right before we got to the office to see when, like, what their policy was about having visitors and stuff there. I was hoping they would allow to. It's going to be really weird without having my mom there again. Um, I'm glad it's not the first, first baby because I don't know what I would do. Um, but they said there can only be one visitor, so of course Dylan will be there with me. But then they said, um... The lady at the front desk, like the operator, I guess, she said that they were not allowed to stay the night with me, that they could only be there for the birth and then they had to leave. So I got kind of worried. <laughs> so she transferred me to labor and delivery and she said that they can actually stay the night and stay there with me the whole time. So I was really scared for a minute. I don't, that would have been crazy. But anyway, so Dylan will be the only one there with me. Um, he doesn't have to get tested. My doctor's not tested every day for the deliveries that he makes, but I have to get tested. Whatever. So, that's pretty much it. We're getting, getting excited. I have a lot of, a lot of, um, activity I need to be doing this weekend. I'm going to try to ramp it up and see if I can get him to come on his own, but I don't know if that will happen. And we do have a name. His name's going to be... Um. Did you bleep it out? <laughs> yeah, I bleeped it out. It's gonna sound like I'm cussing, but I'm not cussing, guys. I'm just bleeping out his name. Yeah, we do know his name. Um, it was a really hard decision. We had two that we really, really liked. Um, I had a couple that I liked. Dylan had a couple that he liked. Neither of us liked those, so we we just totally decided to cancel them out. I have to interject real quick. My name that I really, really liked was going to be Cy. C-Y, like Cy Young. And here's what's even crazier. The middle name is gonna be the middle name of my dad's dad, and the, the old 1890s born um, baseball player from back in the day. Actually, I don't know if he was born then, but uh, anyways, old Cy Young, the uh, famous Cy Young, his middle name happened to be the same exact name as what we are going to name this baby's middle name. So anyways, but Sam didn't like it and I, I respect that. No, I just didn't like it. I know it's not, I know it's not spelled the same, but I couldn't help but thinking about Uncle Cy. No. I didn't, I didn't like Cy. It was, it just sounds weird. But anyway, um, I liked a couple of names that Dylan really didn't like and that at first I was really upset because I really liked him. And I feel like I maybe should have got to use one of those because um, you basically named Bodie, but whatever. You liked Bodie a lot. You liked that I name. I was skeptical for a while, but yeah. yes. Well, now you like it though, right? Yes. Yeah, because Bodie, he's Bodie. <laughs> yeah, he's Bodie, but anyway, so we had two names and it was really hard and we decided, we were like, well, maybe we just need to wait and see him, but um, I wanted to get a name sign made. Um, there are people asking me what the baby's name is because they want to like make something, I guess, for him. And um, anyway, so we decided. And I'm still nervous about it, but it's different. I don't know anybody named that as a first name. Um, so we'll see. We are going to get some lunch now and then we are going to head back and pick Bodie up and probably, oh, she has, she, like she said, she has to go get her COVID uh, test done today at the Caddo County Health Department in Anadarko. Um, so we'll have the results back by Monday. So it'll be within the 72 hour window of when the baby's gonna be born and yada, 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 so. We were headed to get some uh, lunch and Samantha hit a huge pothole.
piece of cake. Piece of chrome cake. Time is now five till three. We are just getting into Verdon. We are going to the tire shop. We're gonna drop this uh, Explorer. I need to say something. I did not hit a pothole. I know Dylan said I hit a pothole. I did not hit a pothole. We were on a road going to Chick-fil-A um, and they were doing like road work and it was really really narrow and there was car there was cars coming this way and I was it was really narrow and I hit a what I thought was a chunk of ice that had like fallen off a vehicle like that had been caked up it was like maybe this big and like brownish it looked like snow like I don't know what it was it could have been I don't know but anyways I hit it and it was really really hard and we both weren't expecting it so um, it was pretty much unavoidable but it definitely was not a pothole my mistake on that I just for some reason I thought it was a pothole because you weren't looking so what was I doing I don't know anyways I was who knows but anyways <laughs> going through Verdon about to drop this vehicle off so they can patch the tire hopefully they can patch it and it's not gonna be you know a lot of this right here So the deal is we have to go talk to our insurance lady because um, basically the rim is cracked and bent and the tires irreplaceable so we're gonna go pay us a nice little deductible real quick and uh, get us a new rim order to be put on um, this makes things interesting going into farmers we'll be back that uh that rim was bent and cracked and there was a big huge chunk out of her tire I seriously have no idea what she hit but Man, did it do some damage. So, gonna get the thing aligned and hopefully get it um, up to 100% speed um, by Monday, Monday afternoon. So, um, we'll have that thing ready to go because that's what Samantha wants to take um, to have the uh, to have Bodie's little brother. So, we are actually about to go eat some dinner. Need to relax after such a crazy day and check what else happened when i was changing the tire there in that parking lot with the snow and everything i went down to lay on my stomach obviously to crawl under and check everything out and my gopro was in my jacket pocket didn't think anything of it so yeah it, it, it's been one of those kind of days i'm gonna go eat and we'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit about 10 till 10 current situation I am transferring footage from cameras today and starting the um, the editing process of this vlog and that's just about gonna do it for this one as always I appreciate you guys watching please be sure to comment say hi what's going on um, that baby's fixing to be here crazy vlog number 304